We actually have three organ repair labs, which is really, really unique. And so two will be used for repair of organs like lungs, liver, kidney, and heart. And the third lab is actually what's called an islet isolation facility. So that'll allow us to take pancreases from donors and remove the islet cells, which are the cells that produce insulin. And we'll use that as a treatment for diabetes. The biggest problem in organ transplantation is actually the, sh the shortage of organs. So unfortunately, the wait lists, lists are huge and, and patients do die on the waiting list. So, uh, we can either increase the number of donor organs we have, or we can increase our utilization rate of the organs that we get, and that's the purpose of this ORL. So we can remove water, we can treat inflammation, we can treat infection, we're treating hepatitis C in organs to, to remove hepatitis C before we transplant it. The very exciting thing about building this organ repair lab is, is uh, really being able to build it from scratch and, and have it built to the spe specification of the scientists and surgeons who developed these techniques. My team was involved with the, the clinical staff and the surgeons who come up with a conceptual uh, organ repair lab. We provide a turnkey service. We engage in the conceptual uh, elements. We hire the constructor, we hire the consultants, and we build to basically the program that's established, and that came from the surgeons. It has to have elements of an operating room, and you can see it looks like an operating room, has a, a, a table-like thing and lights because we have to operate on organs and, and repair them and prepare them. But it's also got a lot of monitoring technology, so you can actually interrogate and monitor an organ more than you could ever do in a patient. And then we're surrounded by other technologies. We've got incredible state-of-the-art audiovisuals so that the, the visuals and the data of every organ being evaluated can be transmitted to my iPhone. As much as we're defining how to transplant a lung, we're defining how to build a building. People are following us. Our specs are being used for other organ repair labs. The, the biggest challenge is working in active OR. So there's uh, 20 suites that are active and we're working in that space so we're working in a sterile environment. Very difficult to do uh, as all the other operations are happening uh, so we take that into account and try to isolate the project from the active ORs and it is, a, it is uh, one of the hurdles that we deal with on a daily basis and, and the main focus is to keep patients and staff healthy and safe. It's so nice to see after so many years working on it that it's finally come to fruition. A major milestone. My team's very proud of being part of that and, and being uh, there to assist the surgeons in their dream.